Another day, a new success story. The Ander Michelina Success Story The Ander Michelina Success Story tells the story of how Ander Michelina, a young entrepreneur, became successful. Ander started his own business when he was just a teenager and has since then grown it into a multi-million dollar company. He is now one of the most successful young entrepreneurs in the world. The Ander Michelina success story is an inspiring story of how hard work and determination can lead to success. Ander is proof that anyone can achieve their dreams if they are willing to work for it. His story is an inspiration to all young entrepreneurs. Who is the champion of today's episode of success story? One of the most amazing things to see today is an entrepreneur not only complete a successful fundraising round or exit but afterwards develop into an angel investor who supports the startup ecosystem, becoming the largest Spanish debut VC, growing e-commerce from zero to $100 M plus in sales, and being acquired by eBay for $165 million. Founding partner of All Iron Group, a company that invests in real estate and venture capital, and formerly co-founded and served as CEO of Ticketbus platform to buy and sell tickets to events, acquired by eBay. We are talking about Ander Michelina. He is one of the founding partners of the alternative investment company All Iron Group, which has over 250 million euros in AUM, and invests in real estate and venture capital, before being acquired by eBay for $165 million in 2016. Ander served as co-founder and co-CEO of Ticketbus a secondary ticketing marketplace founded in 2009 that grew from nothing to $100 million in sales across 40-plus countries. His life Ander began his career at Morgan Stanley as an investment banking analyst while pursuing a business degree at Universidad Pontifica de Camillas. He was born in Bilbao and spent nine years in Madrid. He attended Lycée Francais, and completed a BBA at the Pontifica Universidad Camillas. He began to notice development of 2NT while still a student and movement in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. He began working in investment banking after receiving his degree. But he was already feeling more like an entrepreneur. He therefore joined the company of Morgan Stanley. And a Michelina, a Spaniard by birth, intuitively understood. He was destined for the business journey as a young. Although he began his career in banking at Morgan Stanley in London, where he was primarily responsible for European financial institution mergers, acquisitions, and initial public offerings, IPOs. His goal was always to build a high-growth company. And a deliberately sought for tested business models in the US during his time at Morgan Stanley that weren't yet available in Europe or Latin and he found upon StubHub, a successful technological platform that sold tickets online. Ander experienced a moment of clarity. He realized that if he could effectively implement StubHub's business model in Europe, he could be able to create a lucrative enterprise. First project, Ticketbus. Since his second year of employment, he has seen that the job's difficulty is only growing. And despite the fact that he is learning a lot, the desire to strike out on my own is growing. He began to think about potential initiatives as a result. With the help of friends, and eventually connected with John Uriate to develop a company called Ticketless, which primarily consisted of a website to purchase and sell tickets. The first year he did 1 million euros sales, the second 5 million euros, the third 12 million euros and then 28 million euros and 56 million euros. He began in Spain, using Portugal as a test market, and then expanded to the UK, France, Italy, Latin, and even Asia. In 2014, eBay contacted him. He ultimately received a purchase offer in 2015, which he declined. The initial offer was absurdly low. In under seven years, and a co-founded, together with John Uriate, Ticketbus and grew it to 300 workers in 48 countries with a $100 million annual gross merchandise volume, selling Ticketbus to eBay. He launched his first large round, spoke with numerous investors, made significant progress in the fundraising process, 
and while on a roadshow between London, New York, and San Francisco, eBay reconnected with him there. Consequently, they informed him that their initial offer was incorrect and inquired as to his price for concluding the transaction. And at last, he sold Ticketbus to eBay for the price he desired. For an estimated 165 million euros. At the time of the transaction, Ticketbus had 14 offices throughout Europe. Central and South America, Asia, Australia, and almost 50 other countries, employing 450 plus people. As of right now, Ticketbus is regarded as one of the greatest startup success stories in Spanish history. As well as a paradigmatic case study of efficiency, just 14 million euros raised, an investor returns. All Iron Ventures and VC Ander established the venture capital fund All Iron Ventures following the $165 million purchase of Ticketbus. He discussed their future plans with his co-founder John and decided that they should invest in additional firms. So, in 2019, they launched the first fund of All Iron Ventures. They attracted additional family offices and the European Investment Fund, EIF, who promised to match their investments dollar for dollar, thanks to their success and early investments. All of this led to the establishment of a new $115 million startup investment fund. They invest by writing checks ranging from $100,000 to $8 million. Ander claims that while they are agnostic about industries, they exclusively invest in well-known, profitable businesses. Because of their experience, they no longer hold board meetings. Regardless of the amount of money they invest, in order to allow founders to use their time more effectively. Nevertheless, they provide assistance with company and expansion ideas, as well as introductions to people who can support business growth. He started with venture capital but later launched a real estate arm with two main focuses. Buying centric buildings and converting them into short and medium term services apartments and managing buildings for third parties by leveraging technology and automating as much as possible. He currently manages 200 euros M+. The biggest failure and lesson. When he first started at Ticketbus, he wanted to launch a lot of things quickly and early. But there came a time when it was far too much of a distraction. The marketplace was his main source of income. But he occasionally suffered from a lack of focus because he also had other business lines. That, while less crucial, produced strong results up to 5 million euros to 6 million euros in annual sales in some circumstances. He finally discovered this and made the decision to focus just on the marketplace. Closing all other operations. The main lesson here was obvious. Don't try to take on more than you can handle. If something works really well, give it your full attention and make it huge. The biggest win. Coming from a very corporate environment. Being about 20 years old. Convincing people to invest in you so you can build and run your business. All while having little to no experience with technology, marketing, or the internet, and learning and developing as you go. He greatly valued the opportunity to travel from one world to another and realized how rewarding it was to do so. He also enjoyed sharing the thrill of scaling up, establishing new nations, and selling on eBay with other excellent people. Markets he is most interested in. We are living in one of the greatest periods in human history for learning. There is more money, more zeal to accomplish great things more expertise to create meaningful, scalable technologies, excellent entrepreneurs, a wide range of markets, sound concepts, and outstanding funding prospects. Therefore, and a Michelina has a wide range of interests. One of those things is the revolution that Web3, particularly the metaverse and NFTs, are causing. The idea that your digital character will eventually take precedence over your physical persona is beginning to create an entirely new reality layer that we are still unable to comprehend. He is also particularly interested in the infrastructure that supports Web3 and serves as a catalyst for the development of new digital ventures. On the other hand, he does not like cryptocurrencies at all. Books and Reading He claimed that he hasn't read nearly any books about investors and founders. 
not for any particular reason, but rather because he prefers to read excellent articles that are shorter and faster. He also claimed that because he is constantly working, he would rather read something that would take his mind off of work and put it in the mood for enjoyment and entertainment. He experiences some anxiousness from reading about work-related topics often. His views regarding the current paradigm shift that venture capital is going through. Each fund needs to identify its unique angle since everything is becoming more competitive. And if you can't set yourself apart, you'll end up being just another one. And the revolution in VC is only getting started. From then, if we talk about an investment theory, we run into fresh difficulties. If you are an expert in a highly specific field, you can gain more specialized knowledge and be of greater assistance. It is normal to attack everything if you are one of these conventional tier 1 monsters, like index. It makes sense to go after the current tier 1s and confront them if you are one of the new large companies that is hitting hard, like SoftBank and Tiger. In any case, it's crucial to remember that everyone must be aware of who they are, what they want to be, and what they are unable to be. You can't have $100 million and invest at all phases. Be a lead in everything. And conduct all types of business in the most generalist way conceivable. You also can't be everything and risk succeeding in nothing. There will be room for a lot more participants. But the VC industry is changing quickly. So it will be difficult to succeed in the long run if you don't adapt and distinguish out.